been sitting in my house for like a week and I haven't opened it. Oh my god. Dude, thank you. Shout out to Alex, a uh, good friend of mine from back where I grew up. A uh, car friend of mine. Hits me up out of the blue. He's just like, hey, do you want this? I'm like, yeah, pretty sure mine is missing. So, dude, thank you, man. I appreciate you. Who's there? Connecting rod. That's good. I swear, this is like the best jerky I've had in years. Not even exaggerating. We're gonna, we're gonna wanna we have some pocket jerky for later. <laughs> later quick note about Alex who sent me that manual and the pocket jerky he's not really a, a Volkswagen guy he bought a house he said there was a bunch of literature manuals and, and books and stuff um, I guess when he was looking at the house he made an offer on it by the time he closed on the house and moved in, everything but that one manual was thrown out. So, bummer, but hey, it worked out. We got a good home for it. A good day. Sad guy in a pocket full of jerky. And all my homies gonna have some jerky. Everybody's heard that the jerky's in the pocket. I brought you something. You can have to fish it out of my pocket yourself. Go on, Reach. Go on. What's this? Pocket jerky. Go on, take a piece. <laughs> Brown sugar. 2.0. Guys, I'm sorry I haven't filmed like any of the actual work that we're doing because it's it's just I, I'm on limited time. Matt's here during the week banging out most of the work. So on the weekends, I only have a day or two every other weekend or so to be here to help out. Um, I wish I could be here during the week, but unfortunately, I got to work so I can fund this thing. Got the gas pedal really sloppily done. Um, it's adjusted in a pretty decent spot now. I'll probably have to tweak it from there. Matt's finishing up the wiring now. We're kind of doing a <laughs> doing some loose mock up just to get see if we could test fire this thing. We don't want to get too ahead of ourselves with like buttoning up the whole van to find out like it's not going to want to start for whatever reason. The fan shroud pretty much worked as is with all the 5.3 fan, water pump housing, all that stuff. Still have to figure out what we're gonna do for the intake tube, but that's really not a concern. Got some wiring to still deal with up front with stuff like the oil pressure and coolant temp, all that good stuff. But I mean, we're, we're, at, we're definitely on the home stretch now. It seems we're gonna be able to test fire this thing in a few minutes. The only thing I would change if I do change the exhaust tip is just to tuck it back in a little bit, but I also don't hate it. Maybe we'll just kind of angle it back a bit. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to cannibalize a few parts off of Matt's truck. Uh, just to make sure that the van fires up. We are waiting on a adapter harness to get the gas pedal that I bought to work on it. So we'll go ahead and pop this off. And, and just so we can make sure we... We got a good healthy motor and all that stuff. Um, what was I going to show people underneath? 
The drive shaft. Yeah, totally forgot to show you guys the drive shaft. But here she is. Axle exchange hooked it up. It was less than 24 hours between the time Matt put the order in and then calling him to come pick it up. So, four inch all aluminum, 69 inches long. And the final cost was $690. So, double nice. Shout out to these guys again. Fuel tank was definitely like putting uh, 15 pounds of shit in a five pound bag. Fuel lines, new fuel lines up in there. So what Matt's doing now is actually hooking up the turn signals because without the turn signals, the ECM does not see a constant noun. I'm on Burgundy. Without that, it, it won't fire. You know what's uh, an upgrade from the continu continuum cast function? Oh. No, I don't know. Please tell me. No, the uh, the the oscillation overthruster. Oh, yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Least favorite part about this swap so far. The company. I think the turbo is going to be interesting. I mean, it could fit up here. Not really. I mean, we don't need a massive turbo either, though. That's I mean, the thing. If you don't need heat. Like, if you want to just pull the whole heater box out. No, this this can say, I'm talking about, like, here. I mean, anything's possible. But that is less possible than other things. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just plugging in the... Um, Game Boy Color. Yeah. This is going to get the alternator working. Oh, is that the sloppy? Yeah, this is a sloppy harness. It's what makes flux fuel possible. Yeah, I still gotta do a couple wires to make that work. But see if anything is working right now. Everything's working. <laughs> like it'll, blinkers on, heats on, radios on. Yeah, like the swap is cool and all, but does the underglow still work? It does. So we got nothing from that, which means that switch power that I... Uh, you want to turn the key on? Uh, Do you want me to give you words of affirmation? Okay, now turn it on. Okay, that's switch power. B. Shugs 2.0. How you doing? Oh, it... horn still works. <laughs> I did not mean to do... Oh, I kind of want to plug the f speakers back in so we get some music going. Ball with the ball. <laughs> Yo. Boom. Boom. Does your mother so? We've got something. Okay. TPS auto set. Okay. Wizards start. Okay. This is our temporary pedal setup. Slowly to the floor twice. Wow, this does have very little trouble, huh? Okay. Next. Not successful. Let's see why. Not hmm. successful. Um, let's consult Manuel. Let me let me make sure that everything that should have power has power. Okay. Uh, it's a 24 tooth. Fuel pressure is probably at 43 psi, but we'll verify that after. Injectors are OEM. I took a picture of them the other day so that I wouldn't have to read that tiny. Crank it. What do you do next? Lower it. Yes. No. Two five three one. Two, five, three, one, seven, six, two, eight. Boom, got him. I'm just gonna tell it that we're using a factory sensor for now. I'm just gonna say it's a GM one bar. Drive-by wire, yes. Transmission control, yes. Transmission, 4L80. Key. Tire diameter. 31. Rear end ratio. Mm, don't really know that. We're assuming it's like a 293 or something. That just affects the shift points. Oh. So now it's loading up. It's tuning. Oh, that was it working. Oh, you know what? Maybe I had to have this the tune on it first before to I could do, do before that. You oh, do that it. makes sense. Guys, anytime you're doing any kind of first start off, make sure you got fire extinguishers ready. We got one there. We got one on the wall. We got another over there in the other end of the shop. Um, you know, shit happens. Map signal that it says right now is 120. It should be 100 for like ambient. 120 means that it's making boost right now. I don't know. Have you tried telling it no? 
Yeah, go for it. No fuel. I hope you were wrong about it, just not about it not being enough gas in the tank. I t dude, I told you three gallons did not seem like enough. You did. Uh, that was a cough. It should have. Why don't you go run and get more gas? And I will reflash the tune with the correct thing. Heard. All right. Turn the key on and see what. Uh, Feels That's a. I can't feel yeah. anything, but it definitely does sound different. Yeah. What's that trader valve do? Yeah. Yeah. yeah straight fuel that time. Oh, sweet. Battery charger on it, so that's gonna help us too. All right. So let's see what happens. I shut it off because that was. Yeah. It was running away. Well, it's gonna. It's gotta find its home. So let it. I mean... <laughs> a penis over it or something? It's like a one inch diameter hole. So not likely that much is gonna be able to We can't like put a thumb over it. So basically what we, we both forgot about it because you did tell me to order it and Yeah I remember and, telling you to order it but Yeah I, and it, I and I was, guess I didn't but like we 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 have a giant hole open on the bottom of the intake and that's simple. I think that would call for quitting time if we could hear it idle. I, I cannot express how grateful i am to have matt helping me with this well he's not helping me he's it's him doing this this, this is mostly matt it would easily take me a year to do because there's no no shortage of like second guessing trying to figure out stuff and what is this your sixth or seventh ls swap something like that a gem a gem a gem, a gem of a human let me pinch Aww. it let me I think that's success. Yep. We did it. Great job pooping. Great job pooping. Great job pooping. Brown sugar.
The oh. good news is we have hot oil pressure at 42 PSI at idle, so that's good. So it's not all bad news. Engine seems healthy. Just idling nice. Um, unless we're missing something, uh, transmission is shot. Still nothing, no signs of improvement. We've got really good reverse, but that's, that's about it. That's a good number. Let's check the next one. Surely they can't be all bad. I mean, there's only two. Oh, this one's the same. So option one is, is immediately take the transmission out, let it sit and drop it out to get rebuilt. Option two is find a, another transmission that's known good or comes with some kind of 30 day warranty. Yeah. Drop that in and then deal with the other transmission on a later date. It is something we want to put some work into because if this thing's going to see a turbo, it's going to need at least a shift kit. Option three is buying Matt's transmission because he wants to convert his truck to a manual, but that transmission's built more than I need. Yeah, I it's, definitely, so I, it's, it's totally overkill. Yeah, it's I mean, like it's a. Got it's like all like upgraded clutches and stuff in it and yeah you've you got know, it. but it, i mean it has the shift kit. it 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 won't hurt to have more you know what would i have to pay for that transmission yeah i mean i think i'm into it 1500 you know it's it's just about which way you want to skin your dozens of eggs it's just different ways to half dozen a cat skin so we did not get a test drive in but we did figure out what it sounds like when you overfill the transmission yep <laughs> So a bit of a defeat. We'll just take mine out. It's known good. We know that it works. We'll just take that out, throw it in your van. We can drive it. If it, yeah. has, a, if it has another problem, then we know that we have a problem. Yeah. But we can switch out a lot of different stuff. Like we could swap ECUs back yeah, and forth. Yeah, yeah. That's the beauty of having an identical <laughs> <laughs> drivetrain. All right, so Matt's truck has become a organ donor and we decided I'm gonna buy a transmission. So uh, he's already got this thing out. It's got clutches and a shift kit. And just push it up against the top bar until it squeezes all the yeah. fluid out. Yeah, that'll be good. So what this transmission actually ended up being was a automatic transmission fluid color changing device. Cool, thanks. Yeah, brand new transmission fluid. He got it pretty well figured out, but he was asking me, I guess he doesn't really do a lot of um, CAD. Time, right. Like just the bare minimum, so he wanted to get better at it, and he actually I just told him I just kind of convinced him. I was actually he had asked me actually. first drive and that noise you hear is not the engine knocking it's the engine hoist in the back oh yeah, yeah, the yeah back guys, flanking around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. right mm -hmm. oh. so that's it shifting into second already but it's not that noticeable because of the high stock converter it's like soft Third. I'd say this one's actually working. 
if that's gonna make it, it probably makes it less touchy, if anything. Like mine, I made the first like half of the throttle response is like really flat. See, we've got, um, yeah, our coolant temp's like 130. Like, that's so low. Not a single drop. Cool. Is that tan or brown? Or is brown a shade of tan? Tan. Brown. Well guys, first uh, test drive was successful. We've got forward gears. We've, we've got less neutrals. High, high fives are out, glass hand touches are in. Second test drive, failure. Do you know what changed you 